Your phone buzzes. It's your bank warning you about suspicious activity. Or maybe it's your boss asking for a quick favor. But what if it's not really them? Pre-texting attacks trick people into giving away sensitive information, and they're more common than you think. Pretexting is a social engineering attack in which scammers create a believable backstory or pretext to gain your trust. They might pretend to be your bank, IT support, or even a family member. Pretexting and phishing. What's the difference? Pretexting relies on building trust to make you believe the scammer is someone important, like an IT worker or a coworker. Phishing, on the other hand, uses fear and urgency, like a fake email saying, act now or lose your account. Pretexting starts with research. Scammers dig through social media, work profiles, and personal data to make their scam more convincing. Then, they impersonate someone you trust, and that's when they strike. Some of the most common pretexting attacks include grandparent scams, where scammers pretend to be a distressed family member, romance scams, which play on emotions to steal money, and CEO fraud, where attackers pose as executives to request fake payments. To succeed, pretexting scammers rely on impersonation, pretending to be someone you know. They also use phishing, sending fake emails that look real. And sometimes they use piggybacking, sneaking into restricted places by following employees. So how do you protect yourself? Use strong, unique passwords and enable multi-factor authentication. Be cautious about what you share online and think twice before clicking on links or attachments in suspicious emails. The best way to stay ahead of pretexting attacks is by securing your accounts. A password manager helps protect your data from scammers. Start a free 30-day trial of Keeper Password Manager today and keep your accounts secure. Don't wait until it's too late.